In this lesson, we're going to continue the discussion about keyword tags and how the properties panel comes into play. Okay, make sure you're in Chapter 2. Click Chapter 2, and then go ahead to the keyword tag view under the organized um, panel, and then click on destinations, the little box in front of it, which will reduce the search to just destinations. And in this photo, keyword um, underscore Boston, I know it's a picture of Boston, and I know that I have a key tag category, but I know that this, in this photo, I know that this is a picture that's near the Cheers bar. There used to be a show years ago called Cheers, and this is near that area, and I would like to remember that. How can I do that? Well, I could go over to here, it says Tag Selected Media. I could click in here, and I can choose one of the options here, or I can scroll down. But I know that I did not add cheers, so let me add it myself. So I'm going to put C H E E R S cheers, excuse me, and then click apply. And this will apply a keyword tag to this photo. And if I hover over it, you can see it. It says cheers. And you can tell that it created a category called other, and under other, it created a keyword tag called cheers in the keyword tag panel. Now, does this make sense? Do I need a key tag called Cheers? Really? I mean, I don't, I don't think that's important enough to tag it with a, um, a keyword tag. So let me select Others, right-click, choose Delete Other Category, which will delete that keyword tag automatically. See? It's done. And instead, let me open up the Properties panel and then show you a couple things. If you do not see the Properties panels, as you see down here to my right, go to Window and then choose properties or the shortcut alt plus enter alt enter okay so let me click the triangle to open it up and you notice that you don't really see it that well you can double click on the panel and this will undock it you would say now on this panel I have some options I can provide a caption and let me spell the word caption so you can see where this puts it in the photo C A P T I O N caption and under here has a little area called notes and here's where I want to put cheers C-H-E-E-R-S um, or excuse me I want to say close to cheers now why would I want to do this anything that you put in Photoshop elements in the properties panel keyword tag face, rec face recognition is all searchable by Photoshop elements and that's why it's important so if later down the road I say oh well, you know what I knew there was a photo of something near cheers I can put cheers as you'll see later and it will find that photo because I put it in the notes and that's why it's important just let me go over some other things you see here you have ratings which we'll talk about in the next lesson it tells you the size of this photo um, when it was taken where it's located and if there's any audio um, caption or anything of that sorts you can click on information and this is the exit data from the camera as you can see here camera data the make the model the ISO speed all the nooks and crannies you would say any keyword tag that's applied yes destinations Boston and the history so let's go back to the the general category sorry now that I have my notes applied I need to close the properties panel or I could leave it open it's up to you to dock it back, you just click this little hammer looking thing and it docks it back. You can, if you want to close it, you can do that, but I, I leave it open sometimes. Now let's move on to the next photo. This is, um, I would like to label this as the uh, Metro Mover because I know the Metro Mover is in downtown Miami. So I select the picture and unfortunately I will have to undock it again, so I double click. And I already got it. I put downtown Metro Mover. Okay. Maybe in this photo I want to put inlet. So I'm going to put um, I N L E T. I don't have to press enter, by the way. In this photo, uh, maybe I want to put river scene or river take or however you want to say it. Now, and then click out and we'll save it automatically. Now let's go back to that first photo, keyword Boston, double click on it, and look at the full view. You see where caption is placed? Right where I said captions. Okay. And you look at the notes, close to cheers. 
double click on the photo again to go back to the thumbnail view. In the next lesson, we're going to talk about star ratings.